You look like you need the pain pill. Hi, I'm Dean Bushmiller with Expanding Security. The pain pill is every Tuesday for three minutes. I want you to find out one thing that can make us more secure, make us better at our job, and make our job better for us. You can get a free class by going to bit.ly pain pill 21. What we want. Well, everyone wants to do their job with ease and elegance. You should sell or deliver your product or service and I should buy those things from you, right? When you buy something, you just want it to work. You want it to work the first time and you want it to work every time. Now, that's what we want. Well, what do the bad guys want? Well, they want to do almost nothing and get a lot in return. I mean, that's the idea. Do something once and get big money. In other words, they want to make a big splash. If they could get us to do all the work and then take all the money, isn't that great? I mean, that sounds good to me. How about you? Do you really start thinking like this? Do we start thinking like the bad guy? And hopefully we don't. But we need people to think like the bad guy before the bad guy does. And that's what ethical hackers do. They think like the attacker. And then what they do is they attack for hire, from us, to make sure that up front we said we wanted to be attacked. They attack us. They report it. And they give us a chance to fix those security holes before the real attacker comes in. So it means that there is a group of people that has to think like an attacker and see if they can mess with something of ours. We could do that internally or we could do that externally. If you wanted to do one thing to help your organization, a policy fix, you could plan for penetration testing in your design or production. You should say, we need penetration testing we need ethical hackers. We can either have them internally or we can hire them externally, but we're ready for that because we know that the adversary is going to think like this also. Have a response plan for when customers find flaws. Whether they do it by accident or on purpose, doing their own penetration testings with your products, you should have some sort of response plan, some sort of fix for that and not hide it or put it under the carpet. The action items for individuals is when you think of a new product or service like you may want to buy or you may want to provide, you need to ask the questions. If I were bad, how would I abuse this? How would I mess with this? What could I do to torture this? You could also become a certified ethical hacker. Now, you can get more certified ethical hacker by going to pass pain pills you can go to YouTube. You can sign up for our weekly pain pill email. Or you could come on Thursday at 1230 and you could actually see what our certified ethical hacker class does this week. If you go to the bit.ly link pain pill 21 five minutes before class, you can come see our class. You can see the final review for certified ethical hacker before those people take their exam. If you don't need to know what certified ethical hackers do, you could at least come and get some free CPEs. And hopefully you don't need a pain pill until next week.